guys hope y'all doing all right so today we're going to do a song called funky town um, i sat down and arranged this in a way where we can kind of use it as a triad and a rhythm guitar workout you probably heard this song a lot on tv in movies commercials i heard it the other day on an 80s radio station i hadn't heard it in a very long time it got stuck in my head so i had to sit down and figure it out and um we're going to do the synth part, but instead of doing like single notes, we're going to play it all as triads. And we're going to do the vocal melody. That's going to be triads as well. There's probably 15, 16 different triads in here. And it's just going to be a great way to work on getting your left and right hand synced up, be able to move and grip all these different triad patterns and shapes quickly, and be able to move between large intervals, you know, having five, six frets between a triad movement, right? And so we're just going to go over everything from beginning to end and uh, work through all the parts in the song. All right, so we're gonna start out first with this intro. In the intro, we're just gonna be playing that kind of synth part, the dun 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 But we're gonna be doing it all as triads. We're actually gonna be playing four note chords because I'm gonna be adding in the, D, the uh, D string. But really all it is is just triads with the D as your root, right? And so we're just gonna be walking that and we're gonna do that twice in the intro. So we're gonna start out with C major. I have 10 on D, 9 on G, bar B and E on the 8th fret. Just give it a down up. And after you go down up, give it a smack. Actually, no. We don't smack it yet. We go, uh, we're going to do a down hit and go down two frets to B flat major. And then have 8, 7, 6, 6. And then walk it back up to your C major again and hit it with an upstroke, right? So you'll have down, up, down, up. Okay. Then we're going to go down. We're going to play a G minor, but really I'm just hitting the B and the E string. Uh, it kind of sounds out if you add in the major third. It just sounded a little out to me, so I thought it sounded better just kind of playing like a root and fifth type of thing. So we're just going to have D on five, bar G, B, and E on three. But really, you don't want to hit this full chord, you just kind of want to hit the B and the E string, right? Okay, so after you do that, you hit a smack right before we go to this G minor, okay? And then hit this G minor with an upstroke, hit that B and E on three, okay? Then give it another down hit, muted hit. Okay, then we're going to walk it back up. Back up to C. Okay, so after you hit that muted hit again, hit that G again, right? Then walk up to C. And then from here, we're going to go up to F major. 15, 14, 13, 13, bar B and E. Hit that with an upstroke. Okay, then we're going to go to E minor. Have 14 on D, bar G, B, and E on 12, and then back to C major. All right, so that's a, that's a lot to chew on there. So you have... All right, then you just repeat it. <clears throat> and I kind of just experiment with... Uh, just kind of use your feel and just kind of give the smacks in between just to help keep the rhythm flowing with your right hand as you're switching between all these chords. So after we do that intro part, we're going to do the little uh, vocal part that's kind of that weird voice vocoder type of thing. So we're going to do these octaves, right? I think that's what kind of mimics the, the vocal melody the best. So we're going to go C major, have three on the A string, five on the G, mute out the uh, D string. <clears throat> and I do just kind of do all downstrokes, all 16th notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Then we're gonna slide up and we're gonna hit this E octave, seven on A, nine on G. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit this G octave. We're gonna have 10 on the A string, 12 on the G string. All right, same thing, one, two, three, four. And actually, when we get to G, I'm just gonna do three instead of four, okay? And then we're gonna walk back. We're gonna have uh, 
this E major octave. We'll have well just an E octave really. We have 14 on D, 17 on B. Mute out the G string. Walk it back two frets. Have 12 on D and 15 on B. That'll be your uh, G octave. And then go back two frets again, and we'll have our C octave. We'll have 10 on D and 13 on B. Okay. I have a bad five-way switch, so if you hear like some crackling, there we go. All right, so you'll have. And the phrasing is kind of important there. We just go bump, bump, bump. Pause. All right, and then we just repeat the intro again. Then we're gonna repeat the same thing. But when we get to G, I am gonna do four down hits. One, two, three, four, right? And then we walk this back, one, two, three. All right, same thing. You have uh, 14 and 17, to 12 and 15, to 10 and 13. All right. All right, that energy part. All right, and then we repeat the uh, intro thing again. Okay, and then we do the part, the little walk down, where it's uh, one of the lyrics. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. So then we're gonna walk down these triads, right? We're gonna go uh So we're basically just gonna be messing with F major and G major on this walk down. <clears throat> we're gonna start out with 12 on G and B and 10 on the high E. That'll be your G major triad. And I just hit it once and then do an upstroke and go up, down, up. Alright. And then we go two frets down to your uh, F major. Same rhythm. Then we're going to play our D shape of G and F, right? So we'll have seven on, uh, seven on G, eight on B, seven on E. Then walk that down two frets to F, five, six, five. And then we'll land on a G major triad, four on G, three on B and E, right? So you'll have. All right, so you got 12, 12, 10, 10, 10, 8, 7, 8, 7, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3. Okay, and then from here, once you hit that last G triad, we play the same intro rhythm, but we're gonna play it between G and F. So what we do is we walk back. Then we play the full G, five on D, four on G, bar B and E on three. And we're just gonna walk back from G to F. Down up. And then go down on F, <clears throat> three, two, one, one. And come back to G with an upstroke. Then we're gonna play this G major triad, right? Five, four, three, D, G, and B. Leave out the E string. <clears throat> it's real subtle, but this kind of gives you the same kind of a timbre as the vocal melody, right? Hit it again. And then hit this G major, four on G, three on B and E. Give it a little smack, upstroke. Then we go four three three up to C major nine eight eight. Then your G major seven eight seven, and then back to G major four three three. All right. <clears throat> All right. One more time. Okay. Then we walk back up the same chords. We kind of change the melody a little bit. So you just walk back that same G major triad, 12, 12, 10. I kind of pause, talk about it. Then two frets back to your F major, 10, 10, 8. 
then your G major 787 and back to your F major 565 five. hit it once then go back up to G major 787 and then we're back into the intro right okay then you repeat that twice <clears throat> And then after you do that little intro thing twice, we're going to go, uh, <clears throat> so then we're going to walk down these little octaves. We're going to palm mute. We're going to go G major or just a G octave, 10 on A to G on 12. Just go back and forth from A to G twice. And then go down two frets to your F octave. Go 8 on A to 10 on G. We're going to do all these twice. Then go down a half step to your E octave. 7 on A, 9 on G. And then we're going to go to our D octave. 5 on A, 7 on G. And then we get to our C octave. 3 on A and 5 on G. And we're just going to hit this twice. Okay, so you have... Okay, then I just kind of mess around with some of the drum beat stuff because then it starts getting into this kind of like. Then it just totally does a 180. And we go in and we start playing this C minor 7 chord, right? So after that little walk down. C minor 7, bar all of 3 from A down, have 5 on D and 4 on B. Just do one down hit, let it ring, and then go up down. Okay, then we're going to kind of walk this bass. We're going to do a B flat to C power chord. Just have A on 1, D and G on 3. Go up to C, 3, 5, 5 go back and forth twice okay kind of palm mute it all right yeah I just I don't really palm mute it I just kind of mute it out as I go down then repeat it again then we're gonna do that funky town melody we're just gonna do some double stops out of your C minor pentatonic just have it bar a uh, B and E on 8, go down, down twice, and get your little double stop out of your 7th chord here, and we'll get a 10 on B, 11 on the high E, and just kind of gradually bend it up. Alright, so you'll have, then we repeat it, same thing, C minor 7. This time, uh, where's it go? We go up to uh, <clears throat> E flat. So we'll go. So the second time, you have your C minor 7. And you're going to go 1, 3. Do that twice. Then walk up to the 6th fret. <clears throat> on A, 8th fret D and G for your E flat power chord, go back to C minor 7, alright, then we're going to go to that A, hit that double stop twice on B and E, then walk up to G and B on 8, and just bend that down, okay, so that whole little part you'll have. Okay, then it kind of does this, uh, <clears throat> and it starts doing these little, like, uh, saxophone licks in between. And I wasn't copying them exact, I was just improvising something, I'll just try to remember what I did. But you can get that as close as you want. There wasn't really anything very signature or memorable about the licks. It's very similar to, like, uh, what's that, Rolling Stones, Can't You Hear Me Knocking? When they do that kind of saxophone breakdown. 
<clears throat> so what we're going to do here is we're going to play an F over A and we're going to play a 7 on D bar G, B, and E on 5, have 6 on B. There's going to be 6 hits, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, now I go down, up, up, up. Yeah, I think I do three upstrokes. I'll do a down up and then three upstrokes and then another down hit. So you can kind of play it however you want, right? Just kind of slide off of that. And then I just kind of went up here. What did I do? Uh, I slid into, just right out of your first box of C minor pentatonic, right? I slide into 10 on D. And then do double stops, G and B on 8 to G and B on 10. Hit it again and pull off 10 to 8, G and B. And then get 10 on the D string. And then I'll just pop it with my finger. I'll bend up 10 on G. Give 8 some vibrato. And then just kind of hammer on to a 10 on G. Alright, so you get a... Repeat this again. And I think I went, uh, what did I do? Yeah, so the second time I went, uh, I slid in three to five on D, and then I'll get four on B and three on the high E. Pick and finger, rake that back, deaden out the B and E, pull off 5 to 3 on G, and then catch 5 on D, and then I'll hit G and B on 3, <laughs> hit that twice, rake it back, and pull off 5 to 3 on D, and slide back to 1, and land on your root. Three on the A string, right? And then I'll walk up. I'll just kind of walk up the bass line. Uh, I'll just walk up three on the low E to six to eight to ten back to E on the eighth fret, right? And then I'll go, uh, what I do? I'll just slide in 12 on G, get 11 on B. <clears throat> Rake it back. Slide back 12 to 10 on G, pull off to 8. And then get 10 on D. And then just kind of bend down G and B on 8. And just kind of rake it back again. And I pull off 10 to 8 and hammer back on to 10. Okay. And you can just kind of noodle around. I think that's basically what I was doing, right? back up just kind of sliding into 10 on a going right up your pentatonic scale right so that's the whole tune um, like I said there's a lot of triads in here I think there's like 15 or so different triads going on and then it kind of switches and does a 180 into that C minor 7 thing so let's go ahead and play through all the parts from beginning to end at a slow tempo and we'll just go through everything from start to finish
So that's everything. Um, it's a great song to use as an exercise. It's really not, you know, it's a cool little song to hear every now and then. I don't know how much I'd want to like sit there and listen to it over and over just to enjoy it. But, you know, it has its purpose and like using this as a triad exercise is a really great way to just improve fretting chords, moving between all these real quick, seeing how you can use all these different voicings to kind of push a song forward and use some of the vocal melody. So just work on that, right? Um, like I said, it's a real fun way to practice and just not sit there and just be going. Yeah, that gets old real quick. So anytime I can find a way to make using triads or rhythm work fun by using songs, I'm always all about that, right? So that's everything. Just practice slow, have fun. I'll see you next time.